Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another VPN review. Today we're going to be rating uh, OVPN. This is one I haven't looked at in quite a bit. This is a pretty solid VPN, but we're going to be seeing how it compares in 2023. Of course, as you guys know, I rate every VPN objectively on VPNTierList.com and I rate them by tiers. So that way it's very easy for you to pick a VPN that works perfectly for you. They're all rated and scored in an objective rating system, which you could find on the website as well. Not only that, but I've listed out some of my top recommended privacy products with discount links and codes everywhere all over this site. Usually if you click on one of these links, you'll get some kind of discount as well. So make sure to check out vpntierless.com to stay up to date with all the rankings. Today we're gonna to be finding out where OVPN fits in this ranking system. Uh, right now, as of its last review, it is kind of low in C tier, but for different things than some other VPNs. Some VPNs do really well in kind of big things like having a lot of servers and working with streaming compatibility, but they suffer in privacy and those kind of things, which are very important. Other VPNs like OVPN do very well in privacy, but suffer in some of the other capabilities. So we're gonna be clear and show you what is good and what could improve the OVPN in this review. Right away, let's go ahead and take out some pricing. I haven't installed it or used it yet, since I do like to take you through the process as if you were a customer yourself. And we're gonna be seeing that right here is that OVPN is pretty pricey and I, I just kind of wish they would give you a little bit more bang for your buck. They make it a $12 a month with only four simultaneous devices. So they do make it clear though, which is kind of interesting, each year's subscription time purchase in increments the devices you may connect to simultaneously. Um, so um, let's, I don't know why they made this so confusing. So every year you buy is increased by one. I mean, I guess that makes it competitive, but I just don't understand why they just don't make it more easy to understand. Uh, additionally, we have six months for around $42. So around $80 a year, which isn't horrible, but not super good, but it's charged twice a year. And then $60 yearly. <laughs> I don't know why they're, they're doing this. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. It would be charged twice a yearly. So it's half a year and a little bit cheaper. Interesting, I guess. Um, and still, uh, these ones get multi-hop. I don't understand why they're not putting it on this one. So overall, you know, it's not the worst pricing system in the world. Um, we're not seeing the simultaneous devices we're looking for. We usually like to see them around eight. Um, of course, if you buy like three years of it, you'll get eight, I think. Um, so it, it's kind of putting to test my tier list system, um, but I'm not gonna give it points just because I don't like how they're kind of upselling the simultaneous device use, which is pretty weird. I'm also not a huge fan of how they're upselling multi-hop. I think it should just be included everywhere. Overall, I think they have some work to do here, but for different reasons than other VPNs, this doesn't feel malicious, but just kind of accidentally confusing. Uh, it is a bit pricey though, but we're gonna put it through and see what kind of points it can get here and I'm gonna have to buy it for myself. All right guys, it's been some days later and I've been doing other things, but I did manage to fix the issue. I emailed the CEO himself, David, because I'm on good terms with him. I did an interview with him a couple years ago and he's a really cool guy. One of the reasons I do like this company, good CEOs usually make good companies. And I do like OVPN for those reasons. Um, that said, there was some kind of issue. I don't know, maybe I installed OVPN a long time ago. There was some file and I'm gonna post kind of a response here that he told me to do. Um, I did delete that file and lo and behold, it now works. So at least we got it working. Um, so there we go. Um, that said, the client does seem to have received some kind of uplift, I think. It now has dark mode, which is nice. Although, the light mode, I think, might look a little bit better. Overall, though, with this one, we do have a couple different settings. We have a kill switch and ad blocking DNS, which is nice. So, overall, OVPN's application isn't bad. It is kind of missing a couple things, though, that I would still like to see. Uh, namely stuff like split tunneling, I don't think it has that. Firestick support, um, Sox5 proxy support, which is really nice for torrenting, uh, specifically to torrent um, within applications. It can be very nice for things like sonar and radar if you don't want to have a fully fledged VPN active all the time. Additionally, I don't think this is open source yet. The nice thing about OVPN, it's one of the few VPN companies that does have its own brand of router, the Vilfo routers, which are pretty popular uh, in terms of like being one of the only routers that VPN companies are making besides something like maybe TorGuard 
ExpressVPN has their own software as well. Um, but it is nice to see that. So pretty cool from OVPN. I did test out one of those routers a couple years ago, but I couldn't get it working with my configuration uh, with a certain VPN I wanted to test. So I did send it back to him and I didn't make a review on it just to be fair, uh, cause I couldn't specifically get it working for my setup, but I've heard from my Discord users. Some of them have had good experiences with their routers. So if you're interested, check those out. So guys, let's go ahead and connect to a server automatically for the best location and as well as connecting to WireGuard. So we should get pretty good speeds and we'll see what kind of speeds we can get. I did do a speed test of this already a couple days ago and I got pretty good speeds, not the best, but not the worst either. So I'm not sure what's been going on lately. I think I finally have it fixed. Um, I don't know if it's because my router needs to be reset more. I need to do the global reset or it's rather just need to take some time off. I wish I could do that, <laughs> of course. Uh, but I think we do have it set up now, right? So uh, uh, I don't know. That's just going to be the speeds we're showing for this video, guys. Uh, honestly, these speed tests can be very inconsistent. I'm just going to say that, you know, OVPN is pretty fast. I'd give it a four out of five. It's not going to be the fastest VPN I've tested, but I have managed to get good speeds with it. And we could kind of see that in the upload. Uh, these P tests lately are just really wonky for me. So there you go. One thing though is that OVPN doesn't have 50 country locations and that is a requirement here in the tier list. It does have a smaller server network. So that's something to think about as well. Yeah, guys, one of the reasons I do like OVPN and think it's a great company is because they're one of those VPN companies, one of the few, maybe like one of the five or six or seven out there that really do carefully true about privacy and you can see that from their website no trackers no cookies no google analytics all clean as a whistle and then look at their application five permissions is exceedingly low they're really only having the mandatory things with zero trackers so there, there's me clapping good job ovpn so guys let's just go ahead and wrap up this review all right guys here we have ovpn i zoomed in a bit so you could see uh maybe i'll zoom in a little bit more to make it easier um, and then put, kind of put it centered a little bit. Uh, so finally, you know, in terms of pricing, like we discussed, it is a bit wonky in terms of the pricing plan, a little bit different, um, but we do like that they have no timers, no marketing tricks on their website. Um, overall, that's gonna be the section for pricing. So it's not the cheapest VPN, but it does some things okay. It could have more simultaneous connections, maybe even some promo codes to lower the pricing a bit and longer term commitments could be a bit cheaper. In terms of the application, we could take a look at it here. They do have WireGuard and kill switches, but we're still lacking and Fire Stick support. That said, they do have a good fundamental thing of browser extensions, ad blocking, stealth VPN options, Linux GUI, which is really nice, DNS controls and port forwarding. So those are a lot of the fundamentals we do like. That said, we still are missing a Soxfire proxy, which can be very useful, dedicated IPs, which is useful for some people and open sourcing the application, which would be really nice, especially since OVPN's brand is about going the mile in terms of privacy as a VPN company, not just the VPN app. We also see Vilfo routers, which are cool, but no, I don't think they have remote VPN capability. I gave it four out of five for the speed test, even though the speed test was really wonky. Country support is a little bit low for me. In terms of the privacy audit, we still don't see 2FA. I'm not sure why, but everything else is pretty good besides not having a third party no log audit. That said, they have a really clean track record as a company, so overall pretty good. Um, in terms of customer support, it's gonna be a little bit slower than some other options out there. They do have like a live chat thing on the website, but in my experience, most of the time it says they're not there. Um, and uh, receiving responses from the CEO for me can vary from one to two days. And sometimes he responds very quickly, but that's a different relationship than you'll have as a customer. Overall though, they usually generally reply under 24 hours, so they get five points. Finally, review neutrality, they could handle criticism, five points awarded. And, and lastly, in terms of streaming, they do work with Prime Video, but I couldn't get them working with any of the other options, which is too disappointing, uh, considering they do kind of market themselves on their website as of working with these services, and I couldn't get it working with any of them, so that's definitely a bummer. It wouldn't be that big of an issue if they didn't market it so heavily on their website having an individual page, but since they do, I am going to ding them pretty heavily, and of course I would ding them anyways, but just worth noting that they do kind of market it as working, I couldn't get it working. And I couldn't really ever get it working in the past either. Finally, we have a final score of 32.59. And if we check out the handy dandy tier list where I rate my recommended products here, as well as the other VPNs, 
we can see it's already rated right here in C tier. Now, OVPN is a decent VPN. I think it's very good in terms of privacy and security. And overall, as a basic VPN, it's pretty good to use since it has WireGuard as well. Now, it does have limited country support and the pricing is a bit high and the streaming compatibility is definitely weak. They're also missing a couple things, as I mentioned in this review. So that's why they get this score they did. However, I do think it is a VPN worth supporting if you like some of the things I said about it. So make sure to check, click on this link in the description down below or on VPN tier list. I'll get a small cut back, but OVPN's affiliate model is very transparent and honest, and this is not a sponsored review. Anyways, guys, go check it out if you like OVPN and you want to uh, support an honest company. Uh, I'm not really sure why they are listing some of these reviews since most of these aren't very legitimate. In fact, I'm pretty sure VPN Mentor is now owned by a VPN company, and this one did sell to a VPN company. Uh, I think it actually might be, this one is owned by, I'm pretty sure this one is owned, I can't remember who it's owned, I think it's owned by Cape, um, and I, I think this one's owned by J2 Global maybe or something, I'll put a, maybe a thing on the thing here, but anyways, they might want to rework this a bit. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, that's my final thoughts on OVPN and stay around on the channel for more VPN reviews.